I loved the snow. In fact, skiing runs in my family, but it became pretty clear that skiing was not a good match for me. So one day, I decided to do something so completely radical, insane, even crazy, a little bit risky. I got on the toboggan. I snowboarded down that hill on the toboggan. It was absolute bliss, completely wonderful, enjoyable, and it gave me the freedom to snowboard. Back in 2007, I decided that I wanted to join the school open cricket team. I tried out, but unfortunately I didn't get in. So I practiced with every spare minute I had, and the next year I tried again. And I managed to get in the team, and I opened the bowling and took one for two or three overs. We won the game, and I felt I'd achieved my goal. My family? moved when I was 16 years of age, which meant that I changed high schools. I was scared of what others would think of me. I found it really hard to fit in. I was always sitting by myself for races and lunch. In year 10, I decided to enter a video competition. Sharing my story, I called it I Can. In front of the whole school, I was awarded first prize I felt an amazing sense of achievement and recognition. For three years I have been practicing um, so swimming with my dad at the local at my local pool um, in the hope of competing for at the swimming carnival. When I when I went to high school I was allowed to compete at the school carnival. I swam in the 50 metre freestyle race and my peers cheered me on and I won. And I was so proud as my classmates had to cheer me on for ages. I'm really passionate about disability rights. I was offered to speak and I stood up in front of three or four hundred people. Uh, my hands were, you know, my hands were shaking and I was stuttering a little bit. And um, once I presented with the speech, um, people in the audience stood up and clapped with a, with a massive bag of applause. You know, I was really proud of myself for you know, pushing myself to do something like that. Ever since I was a young child, I always enjoyed being in the car and I wanted to drive. Finally, at the age of 20, I got my L-plates and I went home and asked Dad if he could take me for a drive. He looked at me and told me to go and find a driving instructor. And seven years later, I have got my full licence and I'm able to drive confidently and I absolutely love it. All firsty law students were required to participate in a special court case to develop our courtroom and argument skills. My speech limitations made my lecturer nervous. My performance surprised everyone, including me, and I, and I got great marks. The biggest goal I achieved was when I decided to ride a bike for the first time. I was scared. All the thoughts came into my head. I put one foot on the pedal and rode away. Then I fell off. So I got up and I tried again and again until I could ride the bike. I, I will never forget that day. I remember the first time I ever performed in front of a large audience. I was 14 years old and I auditioned for a school talent show. Now the audition was scary enough, but on the night of the show, the performance pace was completely full. And I was freaking out, you know, I was so self-conscious about the way that my arm would hang or the limp in my walk. I wanted to perform more than anything, but the thought of it absolutely terrified me. The question that it all boiled down to was, was I willing to let my insecurities stand in the way of doing what I loved? Was I going to choose to let them define me? So when they finally announced my act, I turned and walked out onto the stage, and I've never looked back. As I stare in the eyes of 